Hello, I'm Ashlyn. And I'm Scott. And welcome back to InSync with New Tech Christmas Edition. Even though the holidays are coming up soon, it does not stop us here at New Tech from being hard at work with new projects and finals that are coming up. On December 1st, the pre-AP biology class launched their murder mystery project. They will be working diligently for the next few weeks to figure out who killed Skin and Bones. This will lead into a mock trial in English that takes place after Christmas break. Last year, it was Miss Gish who was accused of murder. I wonder who it will be this year. Another thing that took place recently at New Tech was the history fair. Our freshman, sophomore, junior, and AP Spanish class all worked hard to make projects worth of moving on to the next level of competition. Let's take a look at some of the best projects that we saw at New Tech during the History Fair before Thanksgiving break. Hi, I'm here with Mr. Potts. What's uh, going on here today? Well, today we're having our uh, school-wide National History Day Fair. So we have students competing from all grade levels in the different categories that are established by the ha National History Day Foundation. So we have uh, uh, group exhibits, group documentaries, group websites, uh, individual papers, and group and individual performances taking place. Cool. Are, and are there any that are standing out to you tonight? There are several. Uh, I don't want to actually reveal it now uh, because we still have some background work. Not only do we judge what you see, uh, but also there are particular rules as far as the content is concerned, uh, the historical significance, the relation to the theme, and other particular parts that you may not necessarily see just right up front, but play an integral part in the overall evaluation of the project. Thank you so much. Thank you for your time. So today I'm here with Caroline. Caroline, what did you do for your History Fair project? I did my project as an individual on the Sullivan Brothers. And did you do an exhibit, a documentary, or a website? An exhibit. Awesome. And did you have fun while doing this? I did. Hi, I'm here with Sylvia. Sylvia, what kind of project did you do for uh, the History Fair? I did an exhibit over the Battle of Saipan, as well as the crucial events leading up to it and the reconstruction by America after. Cool, cool. And uh, who did you do the project with? I did the project with Lexi Kerr, Emily Olson, uh, Natalia, and <laughs> Natalia Garza, and Thea Lancaster. Awesome. Today I'm here with Addie Ross. Addie, what did you do for your History Fair project? I did a documentary. And what was that documentary about? The documentary was over the American with Disabilities Act of 1990. And did you have a group or was it individual? I had a group. Who was in your group? Nick, Ethan, Evan, and Bimiga. And were they all juniors? Yes. Thank you so much. Wow, these are some impressive projects. On top of all these things that have already happened, we have some awesome things that will be happening before the winter break begins. We have finals, which are the week before winter break. Good luck to everyone on their tests. We also have our Purple Heart Service Leadership Day, which is December 13th. Today I'm here with Miss Santiago. Miss Santiago, what do you like to do for Christmas? Um, we have three Christmases at my house. Wow. So I grew up in Germany, and one of the things that they do is they put out a little stocking or a little shoe, and then you, St. Nick comes by and gives you a stick if you were bad or candy if you were good. So we do that December 5th or 6th, something like that. Mm -hmm. Then we have normal Christmas, but Puerto Rican flavor. And then we do um, Three Kings Day, so three Christmases, lots of presents. Nice. And what do you want for Christmas? A lot of things. Mm. Money. Yeah. That'd be power. a good one. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. That's power. Power would be good. Do you have any favorite Christmas songs? I really like Carol of the Bells. Ooh. Christmas choir band. Right. Yeah. Not Mariah Carey. Oh, no Mariah Carey. No Mariah Carey. Don't like Mariah Carey. Do you like any of uh, Christmas movies? Jingle All the Way with Arnold Schwarzenegger. It's really funny. And Elf. And Home Alone. The oh. part where he like gets electrocuted. Yes. Yeah. I cry every I time. like Elf. So. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. Uh-huh. Today I'm here with Chloe. Chloe, what do you like to do for Christmas? This year I'm going to my dad's house in Oregon. Awesome. And do you like Oregon? I do. It's a lot cooler. <laughs> do you have any favorite uh, movies that you like to watch for Christmas? Um, 
I like the classic movies. I like Rudolph and Frosty, and I like Elf. That's fun. Do you have any favorite songs that you like to listen to for Christmas? All of them. I mean, I was pretty much born listening to Christmas music. Big mood. <laughs> so. Hi, I'm here with Akeem. Akeem, what do you like to do for Christmas? Um, I like to wake up and, uh, you know, wait for the presents, and then on occasions, you know, wait for that morning meal. Are there any uh, presents you're wanting this year? Um, not really, no. Just wanted to be a surprise. Do you like to watch any uh, Christmas movies on Christmas morning? Home Alone. That's a good movie. Yeah. What about songs? Any Christmas songs that really get you into that jolly mood? Mm, not really. It's just all songs. All songs? Yeah, they're all great. Cool. Thank you. All right. And Elf. And I like Elf. Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of That Movie Guy. I'm your host, Liam Richards, and today's movie is about a man who traveled through the seven levels of the candy cane forest, who uh, traveled through the sea of swirly twirly gumdraps, and then walked through the Lincoln Tunnel. Today's movie is, of course, Elf, the one you guys voted for your favorite uh, Christmas movie. We all know the story. Buddy, played by Will Ferrell, uh, is raised in the North Pole to believe he is an elf until one day he finds out he's a human uh, and goes to New York to find his father and himself while learning about human culture on the way. This movie is a wonderful combination of Christmas, comedy, and self-discovery. And it's Christmas themed, but it's not overly annoyingly cheerful. The jokes are simple enough for little kids to laugh at and smart enough for adults to laugh at. Will Ferrell is wonderful for this role. He is, uh, his childlike manner is great for someone who's been raised by elves his whole life. Santa! Oh my God! I think we can all learn something from this movie, whether it's to be with your family more like Buddy's dad did at the end of the movie, or to, uh, to not eat gum off of subway signs. <laughs> Now I have to say, a lot of people don't like this movie, but that's mainly because they don't like Will Ferrell. Uh, and can you really blame him? He's done, he's done some bad movies, but we'll not get into that right now. Elf is slowly becoming a future classic that I think that uh, future generations will love and watch every Christmas like my family does. It spreads a good message, it's funny, and it just, it just gets everyone in the holiday mood. I'm singing, I'm in a store, and I'm singing. I'm in a store and I'm singing! Hey! As someone who likes Will Ferrell, I would give this movie a solid 7 out of 10 Angry Little Elves. Look at you! Thank you all for watching and happy holidays. There's nothing in this cup. In freshman biology, there was a project hosted by Miss Care called Cells Gone Wild. The end product was a cancer gallery walk where people in and out of campus could attend. Remember, if you're interested in the Food for Puerto Rico event, go see Miss Gish. This is held during the Purple Heart Leadership Day and it's $25 to participate. Turning it, you're gonna break the tripod. Hi, I'm Isaac. And I'm Liam. And today we're gonna be syncing the news. Which in? Huh. What? what? <laughs> The, the <laughs> you were really oh. It was so great. No, no, I meant like. Yeet to the end. Okay, are you gonna stop? Okay, my own spell. Holy night. Holy